New South Wales has got a lot of forest and a lot of grasslands. Not just that, there's a lot of people living in and around bushland. New South Wales is one of the most bushfire prone places in the world. When you're talking about bushfire risk, you're talking about the chances of a bushfire not just starting, but also spreading and damaging things we care about. A useful way of thinking about bushfire risk is the four switches of fire. These are the amount of fuel, how dry the fuel is, the weather conditions, and then the all-important ignition. You won't get a fire without all four of those switches being on. So the work we've done has been looking at the amount of fuel, which we call fuel load, and also weather conditions. Now both of these are really important for how a fire behaves, how hard it is to control once it's broken out. We also looked at changes in fuel load based on how plants will respond to not only a change in climate, but also a change in the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. All of the models we looked at showed the potential for an increase in fuel load. New South Wales fire agencies need to understand bushfire risk you know, now and into the future. So the work we've done showing potential changes in fire weather conditions and fuel load uh, is going to add to their evidence base and help them to understand what the risks are to communities uh, and do things like allocate firefighting resources, plan for activities like hazard reduction burns. We need to be prepared for a range of futures, including potentially significant increases in bushfire risk.